what's up guys first i want to say uh my thoughts and prayers go out to the family of the doordash driver that was um murdered i think it was in maryland uh, i think his name was in joku or something like that i saw a news article and um be safe guys tragic family man he was a car salesman he was also doing this to supplement just to help his family out and he had kids and it's sad so um let's start with that so rest in peace my friend okay so let's get into why you guys are here i want to say something first as a disclaimer because i did a little short yesterday and uh some people said you know stop being dramatic and causing drama i'm not causing drama for those of you that know me because a lot of people are new here every day new people come i have preached and i've been very consistent i do videos every day and i show you guys the real i show you everything in live time i give you the good the bad the ugly and i don't make videos just to make them i don't make a certain kind of video in hopes that people will watch i just make videos i talk about topics and talk about what happens to me as i'm out there and then I also do videos. If you guys send me something, I think it's a, something that needs to be talked about within the community. I'll make a video on that to try to help. And, you know, this isn't to cause drama. This isn't to bash. This isn't to say DoorDash is the worst company ever. And like, it's not about that. It's about giving you guys facts if I learn about things and then sharing my experiences when I dash so that if you dash, Maybe you can either relate or you can learn something from it so that if it happens to you, you know what to do or what not to do. That's why I make these videos. That's why I'm making this one today. This I didn't plan to do this, but when I was out yesterday, I ran into this and you'll see a little bit next. Um, so let's get into the clips from last night of me talking about what happened and then we'll go, we'll go on from there. We need to talk. We need to talk. Just drop off the 7-Eleven order. It showed at 7.25. I got 825, right? You guys see that? 825 is what I got paid. Not it's fine. That's not the issue. I walk up, it was a case of white claw for this lady. She goes, Can I ask you a question? I had a problem with the app. Oh, what happened? I tried to leave you a she said, I left you. This is what she said. I left you an eight dollar tip. What did it what did you see? And I said, Oh, you know. I saw it was $7, but that's, you know, DoorDash hides tips sometimes. She goes, oh, oh, okay, well, are you going to get all that? And I said, yeah, I should. You know, if you left eight bucks, I should get it. I got $5 tip on that order. She just told me she left the $8 tip. So if this is the first time a customer has told me. I never ask what a customer leaves. This is the first time a customer shared with me what they left, and it did not match. So I'm not saying this happened, but did DoorDash just steal $3? A lot of you guys say they steal tips. I think they got in trouble from, with that before. I'm gonna call support and get down to the bottom of this. It's raining hard. I wasn't recording because I was done recording for the day. I record my phone, I don't have a body cam. I wish I could have recorded that conversation with that lady. But I hope you guys can trust me that that's what she said. I am gonna call support still when it's not raining and record that. I wanna ask them that question. I don't expect them to say much, but she told me she left the $8 tip and that tip line said $5. So I don't even know where to begin with that. I know they've gotten in trouble with that before, right? I mean, I, I haven't done my research, but I've been told that. I feel like it's been in the news. I'm gonna. I'm gonna look into that a little bit. Plus, they're trying to buy Instacart, they're trying to grow in Japan, I think, or uh, parts of Asia and around the world. They're gonna, are they stealing our tips so they can grow? If this is the case, and I want you guys' opinion, if this is really happening, I think it's hard to tell 100%, right? It's hard to tell. But if I come to find out, or there's some kind of class action, and they're found guilty of stealing tips. I'll never work for them again. Never. I will never work for DoorDash again. Or partner with them. Never. Never again. I'm going to do a little deep dive and see. Let's call support. Okay. So that's what happened on my last delivery for DoorDash yesterday. 
went to the door. It was a 12 pack of uh, white cloth from 7-Eleven. It was on a stacked order. As soon as I get to the door, it's all it was was 12 pack of white cloth from 7-Eleven. The order came in at 7.25, I believe. And um, I get to the door, the lady was by herself. She goes, oh, thank you. And it was about ready to thunderstorm. She thanked me. She goes, I hope you don't get wet. And I scanned her ID. She goes, uh, I had a problem with the app. I don't know. I left the $8 tip, but it was giving me issues. I want to make sure that you get all that money. And I said, yeah, I'm sure I will. And she said, how much did it show you? And I said, I think it showed like seven, but sometimes DoorDash hides some tips. And she had a look on her face. And um, now I wasn't recording this because I was done recording for the day. Wish I was, but this is what happened, okay? And she said, oh, I hope you get that tip. And, you know, thank you, thank you, thank you. I, you know, we had a quick conversation. I scanned the ID. She signed or whatever. And I was on my way. I got to my car and I immediately turned record on and said, let me see what this offer shows up as. She just said she left me an $8 tip. And as you just saw, the, the total wound up being seven and some change, I think, or eight and some change. The tip showed as five bucks, not $8. Now, I want to disclaim this right now. I am I don't have 100% proof evidence that DoorDash stole a tip or anything like that. I don't have that. I want to get that out of the way right now. The lady also did say it was confusing when she was trying to do it. Like DoorDash wouldn't allow her to leave an $8 tip. I'll put a split screen here. I did the identical order that she tried to order on the app myself. And I was able, it automatically defaulted to $5 but I hit other and was able to put in eight. So she might've had an issue with that. And that's why the $5 tip was what it was because that's what the default was. And she didn't know how to leave an extra three bucks. That is possible. But she told me point clear, I left you an $8 tip. I didn't get the vibes that she was lying. I think sometimes customers will lie. Oh, I left you a tip because they didn't because it makes, you know, they want to lie to you. This lady clearly left me a $5 tip, but wanted to make sure I got the $8 and she questioned that. Anyways, you can leave an $8 tip on this order. I did it and that split screen there showed you that it's an option, okay? And I ordered the exact thing that she ordered, okay? So once again, I'm not saying that they did steal my tips, but this is interesting because I've never had a customer experience like this and I'm almost at 4,000 deliveries on DoorDash alone. I've never had a customer talk about tips with me, telling me what they left and then it wind up being different, not one time. So that's why I wanted to share this with you guys. So I've had many people say, well, oh, Pedro, they're stealing tips. They got sued for it. They're doing it, they're doing, you know, and I've never made a video and really spoken about it because I've never experienced it. And I thought, I don't know what the reality is. Now I'm gonna put in some split screens of some Google searches I did. And there's a, there's a, there's a current class action lawsuit there was one from 2019 that in 2020, as you can see here, got settled for $2.5 million. Now, also a disclaimer, a lot of lawyers, a lot of class stocks and lawsuits for different big companies. It's a thing. People can have opinions about that. A lot of these big companies are targets, but they did settle whether they're guilty or not for tip misclassification and consumers were the ones that were behind this because their tips were being manipulated by DoorDash. This is common knowledge. You can look this up. I'm not going to leave links. Do a quick Google search. DoorDash got sued. DoorDash civil lawsuit. DoorDash whatever. It's there. This is where all these split screens came from. That is public knowledge at this point if you want to reach and seek it out. Okay. But a lot of big companies have these things happen to them. It's common practice actually. A lot of them will settle even if they're not guilty because it's cheaper than to go through all the litigate, litigation and things. But they settle. So obviously something's there. Let's go a little deeper. While I went down this rabbit hole, okay, I started seeing a lot of other people were saying that, you know, merchants sometimes, if it's directly through them, the merchant can take some of the tip. And even it's been proven that DoorDash was supplementing our pay with some of the customer tips. So they would, a customer would tip 10 bucks. And let's say there was a $3 base pay. Instead of the order being 13, as it should have been, the order was only, let's say, 10 or $11. And they, took the $3 base pay down to a dollar and used the customer tip to supplement what they gave us from DoorDash. Little shady, right? But it's hard to really prove it 100% and it's hard to know do, what percentage of the orders they do that on. 
Um, I will say this, this is my opinion, guys, and I want you guys in the comments to challenge me or tell me what you think. I think it's, it, it, it's, it's, I wouldn't say it's common, but I think we're naive and gullible if we think big companies don't do this. Whether it's on Wall Street or other companies, as they want to grow, they have so much money coming in. They can, can, they can manipulate how that's spent and how we're being paid. This has been going on forever, guys. This isn't anything new. It's not DoorDash specific. Okay, it's not just Wall Street specific. People get caught and busted and they have to pay fines and they have to pay small claims or whatever suits. They have, they have to do this because they, they are liable and they make mistakes and lawyers know that and they try to, you know, I'll share a quick story with you guys. I worked at Applebee's and they got sued um, and um, I wasn't somebody that was affected, but be just because I worked at Applebee's, I got a check. This is like 12 years ago for like 1500 bucks. Cause they got sued cause uh, you know, they were make one location was making servers do work without making tips and like they didn't pay them. And so I got money and I didn't deserve it. I'm quite frankly, I didn't deserve it, but I got it. And this happens all the time, right? I'm not saying DoorDash is stealing tips, but I wouldn't be surprised if they are. They're trying to buy Instacart or we're going to, I've heard about that. They're trying, they're going out in Japan or they're trying to, trying to really, really broaden their horizons to make, get more market share and be the big, big, big dog within this space, okay? So I would not be surprised if they're funneling some of that money from the customer to their pockets versus ours. Because really, how can we know 100% if they are or aren't? So as you saw in the clip there, I was gonna call support and I thought, you know what, why? They're not gonna know, you know what I'm saying? They're not, they're gonna read off the script. I didn't want to waste the time. I didn't want to waste their time or my time. I didn't know what I could gain from that. I know there's dashers out there that need to call support for real things. This is a real thing, but it wasn't, you know, I did get paid. I didn't have an issue with the delivery or the customer. So I said, you know what? I had a second thought. I'm not going to call support and complain about this. I'm just going to do my own little looking into it and get your guys' opinion. Has this happened to you? It's never happened to me. Um, I don't talk about tips with customers like face to face like that. I never, I've never asked and I will never ask, how much did you tip me? And tell them about like, no, I'm going to make a video and like I did yesterday, educating customers that DoorDash hides tips and companies do. And this is why, and maybe this is why you didn't get your food and thanks for tipping. I'll do that, but I will never ask a customer, did you tip me? Like, no, I'll never do that. I think that's rude. And I wasn't going to call support because I just think that was like a waste of time. And I didn't want to bother them. I think the support people sometimes can be frustrating for us. But guys are reading off scripts. Um, I called Uber yesterday for an issue because the restaurant was closed. And I could tell that that support agent was in their home. I heard cats and like dogs and like a baby in the background. Like they're not working in an office all the time. They're literally working at home from home. And they got laptops and they're support agents for many companies. That's my opinion. So I'm like, I'm, not gonna, I'm just not going to do it. But I wanted to bring this to you guys, not to cause drama, not to, you know, but it, this is what's happening. And like I said in the beginning of the video, I show you guys everything. And if it's something I haven't talked about, maybe it could be beneficial. This isn't to cause somebody to be nervous and like worry. And I'm giving you guys the facts of what happened, what was told to me, the facts that's in the news, the facts that these lawyers are talking about and like, there's petitions now, like you guys can look all this up and you, if you choose to do that on your own, I'm not persuading you one way or the other. Like I said, I'm giving you my opinion just to try to help. And unfortunately, sometimes the things that we're gonna talk about on this channel and other channels is going to be what some might consider drama or negative or clickbait. And I, I don't do that stuff. I just give you guys since day one of this channel, everything that's happening on my dashes and my Uber experiences. And I'll get into Grubhub next week, probably. And if, if it's good, bad or indifferent, I'll share that with you. That's what this is about. And also betting on you and all that other stuff and the positivity. And I try to keep it light with you guys. But this is about the real of what happened. And I wanted to get your guys's opinion. I know I'm rambling, but it was crazy. Like somebody tells me they tipped me eight bucks and she was like very thankful and was very nice and appreciative. She wanted to make sure I got that. Cause like I said, and like she told me she had issues on the app 
And maybe it was that she wanted to leave eight bucks and she didn't understand all she had to do was click other and it automatically went to five. It could be that. But so many other people and so many of these lawyers are saying that they're stealing tips or manipulating them, taking away some of the tip and then making sure the base pays lower. Like, you know what I'm saying? That if so many people are thinking and saying about it, something has to be there. Okay. And I am for the little guy. I hold these big companies accountable when they do shady stuff. And I think, in my opinion, they're doing some shady back end stuff. And a lot of companies do it. It's not just DoorDash. That's just the company that I choose to partner with now to make a living and to show you guys videos. And we can make a living with it. And I'm grateful for that. But it doesn't mean that when things happen, we can't say, hold on, let's think about this. How can we hold them accountable? Like what's really happening here? At the end of the day, yeah, I'll still turn the app on, cipher through the trash and deliver good customers their good food when and if I can. And I'll use Uber and other ones in the meantime, and I'll take the best one that I can. And that's that. I also had um, uh, somebody in my comments tell me that I shouldn't be calling myself an independent contractor because we're not true independent contractors. I went down a little bit of a rabbit hole and me and him had some comments. I invited him to the Sunday live call and show that we're going to do Sunday this coming up Sunday at 9 p.m. He declined. He thought he he told me I didn't really want that because I guess he would blow me up and make me look stupid. I said, no, please. All calls are welcome. I'd love to learn more. He's not interested. And that's fine. We talked enough. He's telling us we're not independent contractors. Now, when I looked a little deeper, it seems like they want to DoorDash and these companies want to misclassify us that way so that they don't have to pay benefits and wages and things like that. Because true, as he says, independent contractors get paid for mileage and they get benefits and things or they get paid for mileage and other perks that we right now don't. So I'm going to dig a little bit deeper into that because I know many of us, like myself, say we're independent contractors. But a lot of people that I think work what they consider to be a true independent plumber, painter, uh, he works in snow removal. I think they look down on us in some way. We're just like pawns in this big scheme of DoorDash, Grubhub, and Uber Eats, and they use us. And there could be some truth to that. But at the end of the day, aren't we independent contractors? I don't know. I hope he winds up calling on Sunday because at the end of the day, I don't care if I am right or wrong. It's not about that. It's about giving information to the community so we can make best informed decisions. My opinion will not always be the correct one, and that's fine. I don't want people calling and watching that agree with me 100% of the time. I always want to learn, and I've said that from day one. I like to teach people things, and I also in hopes, hope to learn things from you guys. It's a two-way street. Appreciate you watching this video. Um, we will be going live Sunday, 9 o'clock. I'll take calls at 9.15. Um, looking forward to that. I don't know what the topic will be, um, but we're going to definitely do it. It might be driver safety. It might be this. It might just be something all entirely different, but we're still going to take calls. You guys are fantastic. Better news set goals one day at a time. I'll see you guys tomorrow.